And hi guys! Just as I promised, we are back after a short break. Welcome back to Guy Grisby Wendy's. Marauder here, your host, and we'll be doing tonight with Army Groups North. Uh, what? What? What, is, what did you say? No, we'll be doing with Army Group South. We have already dealt with Army Group North and Center. And um, today, the great, great. Uh, well, what great, what great, great movement of units because the front line is non existent and the Soviets have no opposing formations. So, great nothing, great march, maybe. The Chinese will know something about this, at least the communist part. But, uh, yeah, no great march or great drive, depending if you're marching on your foot or driving on your, in your panzer. But let's start with the usual, sorry, the usual uh, backwater and uh, rear areas. We have some remaining, uh, some remaining uh, enemy formations. It's probably one here, yeah, exactly. And one here, and I hope it will be dealt with or not no. you can see that our brigades entered the mountainous region and the combat value has skyrocketed into 11 and 10 these are just small brigades but they still <laughs> cannot break the break the enemy but we are patient. We are patient. We don't, no need to hurry. No need to hurry. Let's move the uh, <coughs> the, the stragglers, remaining formations, some Slovakians around here, some uh, security formations. We can. Send one, one regiment to Stanislav. Leave two, it's 98%, so it's good enough. 96 is good enough. Good, good enough. Good enough, good enough, good enough. And the <coughs> security division will be useful forward. Some more infantry. Boring stuff. Maybe in Zhitomir or Kiev. More formations. Marching we have fortunately cleared all the remaining pockets last turn. So now we march unopposed. Unopposed. Let's send some HQs back up. March up. So I'm thinking south. Yeah, of course, the railroad, which is the single most important thing in the game. I got scared that it didn't work. Let's push the train of uh, <laughs> train of airfields and commands and uh, all this panoply of logistics up. I could even be crazy enough and place it not on the railway, not on the railways. We have huge surplus of trucks. Huge. Huge surface of tracks. Let's see. Let's use some recon. Is Crimea locked down? Yes, it is. A lot of powerful Soviet formations there. 
summon Stalinor. There are only air bases. We have one division, or something in Poltava, something in Gegorod. Kharkov is clear. Kursk is clear. Oil is clear. Bryansk is clear as well, probably. Yeah, nothing. Great nothing. Mm -hmm. You won't be storming. You won't be storming Crimea. There is no need. You could just block it. Just place a division uh, on the entrance. Yeah, one here, one here, and one maybe in the middle. Yeah, wrong core. I suppose I should using different cores. Now this division will go. <coughs> will march um, forwards or maybe it could maybe it could just attack yeah nice job nice job nice job boring stuff place Romanians even further up Zaporozhye hmm. we, will, hmm. we will probably 15, we have 18, 18 and 20 but I prefer those German formations to move forwards instead of attacking but oh, the, the Romanians will move forwards doesn't matter let's move the uh, HQ up these are two different cores mm, and it's it's not that <clears throat> not that good but it's enough Okay, one which is it's okay. Now the Romanians can show what they're made of. Uh, or actually, not. Maybe let's use the Hungarians. The Hungarians. Well done, my Hungarian brothers. As everybody knows. The Polish and the Hungarians are like brothers. They like drinking, they like fighting. <laughs> yeah. And so, okay, we have some Hungarian cavalry here. Cavalry. If possible, I'd probably like to displace those HQs using my Panzer units because um, they could get some fuel doing that. So let's do it. You see, 12, 9, 2, 6, 2, and 0, and 4. And eight. Nice job. Nice job. What I want to do is encircle those uh, metropolis, uh, Stalino metropolis area. We'll be using one Panzer core. Let's bring the Panzer core up. And let's see. Mm. Four more. Go. Good. Let's see. Maybe one minute. From the south, some population evacuates. One more fuel. The bulks of there. There were. Um, there were. Um, 
a lot of firefights during the during the contemporary Russian Ukrainian war near the Bautzova. Uh, let's let's position ourselves. Maybe let's see how far the infantry can go. If one infantry can go 21 moving points, but it's not enough. Five, yeah, five because they they've attacked. The city. We have some cavalry as well. Let's let's secure maybe the northern the northern part. Okay, here I have some mm, I have some <coughs> gap between the formations, but it's okay. Did the cavalry can go there? No, cavalry cannot go anywhere, unfortunately. We have some infantry here, so we secure the encirclement of Poltava. Romanian division and one more Hungarian division brigades, cavalry brigades. Okay, okay, and we just crouch forward, crouch forward. Good job, Slovakians. Nice job. Back there, one division up there. Okay. 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 We are slowly, slowly approaching Kursk. Hmm, there's one. Hmm. 38 tons of fuel. If only my panzers had that. Few more hexes here, few more hexes there. Small encirclement. One brigade. This division can go far. Yeah, very far. Okay, core here, 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 core here,
score somewhere here and here. Okay. Okay. Okie dokie. We have some more answer cores. Can go as far as we go to Rostov. I wonder if Rostov is free or not. I don't know. I don't know. It's this sponsor core. Let's check. Why not? It looks, it looks German to me. It looks German to me. Boys, boys. <laughs> Let's cut off all those ports. So the <laughs> so the Soviets don't do something tricky with the ports. We will evacuate all those formations, for example, and also let's place, um, place the divisions like this, of course, like this. I could even divide it to could even divide it just to be sure that. The enemy doesn't run away. Here we have the yellow marks, so we will not have any fuel next turn. But Stalingrad is quite close now. Mm. I would like to do one more. It's 15 movement is 15 admin points, so the HQ build up is not available. But I would like to not, I don't know, move this, move this core or not to move this core, because I would like to have it, it to have some fuel next turn. But this position here is not really, is not really beneficial. Because it's guarded by this isthmus, uh, not isthmus, but um, a bay, maybe. Yeah, let's move it maybe near Zaporozhye. Maybe let's move it somewhere around here. And let's fly some fuel to the, to the units. Hopefully it's available. Yeah, it's kind of available. That's 100 even more tons of fuel. 55. It looks like this core will have a lot of fuel next turn. Very good, very good. Yeah, and our railhead has crossed the Yuzhny Bug River and approaching slowly, slowly, slowly approaching the appropriate When it crosses the um, the Don, uh, no, the Dniep, uh, then the situation will look. Great for us around here. Till now, till then, it's uh, it's a slow haul, <laughs> so to say. Okay, so I think that's all for Army Group South. But not, not it's not all for this video because we have some reinforcements. Dun dun dun! We have one infantry division reinforcing our, our forces. Yeah, reinforcing our forces. Yeah, exactly. Do we send it north or do we send it below? The question is. 
I think we send it middle. Why middle? Why middle? Because the north has enough troops for now. North has enough troops for now. There is nothing much left to conquer. Four hexes or three hexes. Mm. And yeah, and one more division will not make any difference. And in the middle, there is still uh, there are still fights. Besides the one infantry division, we have the Italian Expeditionary Corps. So one cavalry and two infantry divisions: Torino and Pasubio. Mamma mia, che bello! Three divisions. Let's group them up and send them to the east. Mm, right here, maybe. Nice, nice. We have, they have 30 more movement points. Where did we start our railhead? Maybe right here? I think so. So let's place it here. Okay. And let's send their air bases and commands as well. We have more air bases and commands than the actual fighting units. But they have something, so let's be grateful for our buddy Mussolini. Mussolini. Let's take a look at the <coughs> at the command. It's commanded by someone. They have actually better commanders? No. <laughs> Not true. Really. Not true. Really. It's an okay commander. It's not a bad commander. It's bad compared to the German commanders, but it's okay compared to the Soviet commanders. So it's it's competent. Guy is competent. It's not a genius, but knows what he's doing. Sometimes I've seen here are some more reserve units. I have one reserve. Mm. Cavalry Brigade from Romania. And a reserve division also from Romania. Let's let's rail you up. Rail you up. We have any more? Reserve formations that have been released to our command? I don't think so. I don't think so. Uh, yeah, we have 15 more admin points, but I think we'll, mm. we'll not do anything and uh, keep these <coughs> keep these admin points in case of uh, more uh, HQ buildups would be needed. In the next turn, um, I don't know if any would be needed, but it's better to mm. it's better to have some in, in up your sleeve, maybe. Yeah. 
Yeah, okay. The remaining commands are mm, placed well enough. Maybe I should have put the uh, HQ earlier. But it doesn't matter. Uh, okay, let's see one more thing. How will the next turn look? We have some static divisions Stug Battalion, Gun Battalion, and Finnish Infantry Battalion. So, two more, and uh, two more German divisions. Uh, it's more like um, occupying or security divisions, but well, they, they could take part in the front line. Maybe secure the more quiet parts of the front line, for example, the whole south. <laughs> okay, I wanted to show you also the event log. I don't know if I showed it at the beginning of the turn. Uh, our general has more uh, rating with this 28, which is tremendous. Our two, two formations were isolated, but we saved them. The Italian formations have been unfrozen. Our Jagdbeschwader uh, 53 drew to the. Mm. <coughs> not to the. National Reserve, but away from the game. Something upgraded, something swapped. Yeah, and uh, something has been produced. 24,000 Kiwis has been recruited from the pool of countrymen. That is, that's a lot. That's a lot. Some swaps, some replacements. Replacements from all the countries. Mm. Yeah, okay. Apart from this one in general, nothing interesting. Okay, so I think it's time to end the turn, if I'm not mistaken. If I'm not mistaken. Let's end the turn and pray for a good result. Maybe uh, show the bigger picture. Here, something like this, and let's end the turn. Yes! Okay. And encroached a little bit closer to Moscow this turn. And let's see what the AI has. Uh, uh, <coughs> waiting for us. Save the game, some movement. We can reconnaissance flight. Predictions, just the bombers. They tried to save this uh, AT brigade with the donations, but they fell short. Our <coughs> battalion, our regiment retreats. Unfortunately, the regiment retreats, but it's okay. As I've mentioned last in the last video, that uh, <coughs> the hexes in front of Moscow are, um, are no problem if the enemy takes them. The counter attacks on Finns, but um, it's okay. This regiment is also okay. I don't care about this hex. And we defend Totenkov as has motorized division defense. Uh, 
and we defend again, first Panzer Division. Very good. Very good. Small counterattacks in the north, north of Moscow, also defended. The enemy has quite significant losses, but it doesn't really matter. The, those losses are as they are. The Soviets get 100,000 men each turn as reserves. reserves. So if they lose 1,000 or 2,000, more or less, it doesn't matter. It doesn't really, it doesn't really matter. If you get uh, 90,000 reinforcements or 95,000 reinforcements, the difference is not that much. They push us back in front of Moscow. Quite... Um, Stubbornly, but it's okay. It's okay. The more mm, the more troops they have here, the less they have deep south. No, the Romanians. No, the Romanians. Huh? These ones stand tall in the face of the enemy. More country attacks. There are a lot of troops out here. That hex was actually important. If my division failed to deliver, Oop, they displaced an HQ. Oops. That was not planned. Remains against them at all. The entrance to Crimea. Crimea. Krum. The Soviets did manage a significant counter attack in front of Moscow, but it's okay. You can see the AI has 500 admin points, and it's going to create all the all its units for free. That's the that's how AI rolls in this game. My logistic phase, and let's see. Let's take a look. Short, because the <coughs> video is drawing to its end. But let's first let's take a look. The Soviets are approaching two million losses, which is okay. In the air, it's six thousand planes. It's okay, but I don't conduct uh, air war, so <coughs> so it doesn't matter. Let's see our two static divisions. Nice. And let's see how the situation looks in the north. We have some... Why was the port level off? Okay. We have some... Soviet formation defending Leningrad, 29 defensive value, it's not that much. We can easily displace it, 45 is also not that much, we can easily displace it. As you can see, I have 55 here um, <coughs> on the spot, and even more uh, further um, behind the front line. There were some counterattacks here and here. 
they actually break through on the um, open ground. But not that far. Our two formations are isolated. But um, they will be easily um, recuperated. They, the enemy did not op occupy this hex, although they pushed me away from it. How much movement point do I have? 16, 17, that's not enough. That won't do. That won't do. Here I have about 30, 43 here with the builder. And that's something at least. That's something at least. But it's probably not enough for a big drive. Let's fly some beacon missions around Moscow. But the enemy doesn't seem to have a lot around here. Here it has significant amount of troops. But we can go around it. Sooner or later. Uh, the situation in the south looks. They abandoned the city, but did did not manage to break away from the um, from the from my Panzer forces. So they're gonna get wrecked. Sorry, sorry. Would be better for them to stay in the city. Here is a, a huge wall of airfields. <laughs> That's not a defensive line, that's just the airfields. And a lot of them. A lot of them. If they stayed in the cities, they could retain the um, fortification level and also more supply because the cities um, provide some supplies. But now they have only like four free defensive value. It's not enough. It's not enough. Stalin, my friend. I'm gonna get wrecked. Okay, okay, that's that for tonight, and see you guys soon, hopefully soon enough, maybe tomorrow, maybe, maybe, I don't say anything more, uh, hopefully tomorrow, or <coughs> in the nearest future. Thanks guys for watching, thank guys for being with me, it's my premiere series on YouTube, and it's great fun, up till now. And I think it's gonna be great fun in the future as well. Thanks guys, and see you in the next video. Bye!